Alright guys, here we go. Part two of our list. So we finished some of our words with the if sound in them. Let's go to another word. Let me pull this up so we've got lots of room. The next word is going to be wig. Like the pig in a wig is the title of our story. So let's sound out the word wig. W I G. The first sound is w. My lips are out like I'm going to kiss my mom. W. That's the W. Down, up, down, up. W. The next sound is i. I, I. That is our short I sound. Remember the smiling sound? I. Go down, put the dot at the top. And the last sound is g, g. Feel where your tongue is in your mouth. G. It's in the back. Sometimes some of our first grade friends have a hard time saying the g sound. That's okay. They can practice it. All right. So g. Our tongue is in the back. G, g. So when we make the g letter, it's the G. We make a magic C. Up in touch. Now watch what happens. I go down and I hook to the front. Again, watch me over here. Magic C, up in touch, but then I go down under the writing line and I hook to the front. Go. Now I'd like to explain a couple of words that have the X at the end. The X is the only consonant letter that represents two sounds. Now listen, when I say the sound of X, listen to the two sounds. K, k, it's two sounds. It's the K and the S. Because there's two sounds it is going to go across two boxes. Watch. Don't have to write this on your page. I'm just showing you before we get to our words with this. The k is represented by the x, so it goes across two boxes, just like that. So here we go. I know my number six. Let's sound it out. I -k -s. So when we sound out words, it's really a good idea to go kind of slow so you can hear all those sounds that we're working on. So six. S -i -k -s. The first sound is s. That's the f snake sound. We push and then we pull and push again. The next sound is i, i. That's our smiling eye. I. And then we have k and s. When I put those slash marks like this, you know the, the forward slash marks? That means the letter that's in between those slash marks is the sound that you make. So those slash marks are they're called virgules. When you see those virgules, then you say the sound that's on the inside. So we have the k and the s. So we have to draw the x across those two boxes. Six. The next word is fix. I'm going to fix some macaroni and cheese. Mm. That means I'm going to cook it. Or I'm going to fix the car. That means I'm going to fix. I'm going to repair the problem. Fix. Let's sound it out. I So we've got, I'm biting my lip and I'm blowing air, 
That's the F. Watch how I make the F. I make the hook and I go down and then I cross it. It is the next sound. K. It's the X. If you want to think about the word kiss is k. Also, if you want to think about Star Wars and think about the lightsabers as they hit, when they hit each other, they go k. So that's another way of remembering it. So Star Wars, the lightsabers hitting each other, k. Think about kiss and the K and the S going together and make kiss. So there's a couple of ways of remembering that. Fix. And the last word is mix. <clears throat> I will mix up some brownies. Mm. Mix. Mmm. The first sound is mmm. My lips are closed. The sound is coming through my nose. Mmm. That's the M. Start in the middle of the box. Go down. Swim over. Touch the line. Swim over. Touch the line. Mmm. The next sound is our I, I sound. It's the A. And then K. K. It's like the Star Wars lightsabers. And they cross. Mix. All right, guys, so we worked on words that had the I sound. Remember, it's like the ball, that dot, is going to go in the basketball hoop. I, I, in. It's a smiling shape on my mouth. We also talked about the X. And the X is the only letter that represents two consonant sounds, the K sound and the S sound. So it's a K. You can remember the word kiss with the X, or you can remember the Star Wars lightsabers crossing and they go kss. All right, guys, y'all are going to do super awesome on your reading this week because you've learned that it sound really super great. Also, we worked on our P and our D and how to write those letters. And remember that the D, D, D sounds like a drum and the drum sticks out in front in a parade, so I know the bubble comes first, and then the line. Teachers, I really suggest that you look into the lively letters by reading with TLC. Very, very, very wonderful materials that helps our student learn. There are letters and sounds by associations, which is a fabulous memory strategy. First graders, have a great week!